Hey guys, so for today I wanted to go over why I've decided to write my manuscript in Google Drive. Well, for number one, it is free. Programs like Scrivener are $45, and right now that's just not in my budget. Number two, it saves your manuscript automatically in the cloud, and number three, you can actually really easily customize it. The first tool I wanna to show you how to use is the document outline in Google Docs. This is awesome. All you have to do when you're writing your manuscript is add a header on the beginning of every chapter and even every scene within that chapter. So when you're going back through and you wanna edit or go find a section you've written, just like in Scrivener, you can go to your outline and you can find the section that you wrote. Another thing I like to do is add the word stop at the end of each writing session so when I come back the next time to write I can just find where I left off. Now the next thing I like to do is you can enter full screen mode. This is really great because sometimes you don't want all that clutter on the sides and at the top. This allows you to just focus on only what you are writing without all that other stuff. Now, word count, obviously, in NaNoWriMo, you want to be able to keep track of your words. So built in within Google, Google Docs is a word count. This is pretty general. You just see your pages and overall word count. Now, here's where we really get into the fun stuff. So there's built into Google Docs is a dictionary. So the last thing you want to do when you're writing is get out of your writing session to go look up words. So built within it is a dictionary with your entire dictionary picture definitions, synonyms, and everything that you would need to find. Now you also can integrate your Google Calendar, which I don't really know if this is necessary, but if you want to just be able to jot down really quickly what your daily word count was, you can just open up your calendar and pop that sucker right in. Google Keep, this is my favorite. So one of the coolest features in Scrivener is being able to have that little cork board where you can keep all your notes on your characters, your settings. If you write something, you can add it in there. And that's not something that is standard in Google Docs. However, with Google Keep, you can create that for yourself. So you can either use the app and import all of your information or right here within your writing session, if there's something you wanna keep track of or remember, you can put it right in to the Google Keep section without ever leaving your manuscript. Another really cool thing you can integrate is Google Tasks. Now, I would use this to put your entire outline in the Google Tasks section. And then as you're going through in your writing, instead of using it like a checklist of things to do for the day, you can actually see your whole outline and then check off all the sections that you've completed. So chapter one, scene one, scene two, scene three, so on and so forth. And then when your novel is finished, all your boxes will be checked and there'll be nothing left in your outline. Now, just like Google Calendar, Google Keep, there's also a mobile app for Google Tasks, so you can add or change things while you're on the go. Into the add-ons. So my favorite to start with is Better Word Count. This is better than what comes standard in your Google Doc, because for this, you just highlight everything that you wrote for that day or that writing session, and you can see your word count for that session. Similar to that is I should be writing. Now I have to figure out which one I like the most while I go through NaNoWriMo. With this, it's great. As soon as you sit down, you put in your target. So 1,667 words. And as you're writing, it's gonna start showing you how close you get and it'll tick down till you achieve your goal. Or you can switch over and you can use the clock. The only downside is you have to keep this open throughout the writing session. The next add-on, very similar to your dictionary, is your thesaurus. So again, just like it's nice to have your dictionary built into your document, here with the thesaurus, if you are stuck on a word or you just know you want to find something better, you can put your word into the thesaurus. It'll have synonyms, triggers, rhymes, complete, adjectives, nouns, everything you could possibly want to know to help you find better word choice. All right, Doc Tools is awesome. This is probably something you're gonna use more when you get into the editing section, but here you can do everything. You can increase or decrease font size. 
you can sort. So if you have some sort of list, you can sort it from A to Z or Z to A. If you realize that you haven't done proper like capitalization, you can capitalize all your words, lowercase all your words. Make sure every word starts with the capital or the most popular and most common feature you'll use. You can capitalize every sentence within your paragraph probably what you're gonna need most in a manuscript. You can also highlight entire sections and color code them. So as you're going through and you're editing, you can highlight for things you know you need to change. So this is obviously not a complete list of add-ons. These are just my personal favorites. If you go to get add-ons, you can scroll through and find hundreds of different add-ons for your Google Drive. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you in the next one.